Eugene here with a review on the Power Rangers Super Mega Force Deluxe Super Mega Saber. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and start taking a look at the box real quick. Uh, as you see, I got it in a different angle, but this is the top of the box here. But it says uh, Power Rangers Super Mega Force, and got a nice shot of Super Mega Force Red. And right here it says Deluxe Super Mega Saber, and it says right here Lights and Sounds. And uh, of course, we do get a uh, Super Mega Force Blue Ranger key. On the side, it just shows you about, you know, flipping the key and everything, and of course, about the app. On the other side, it just shows you a nice shot of, you know, mainly uh, the whole thing with the Legendary Morpher, the app, and other keys. And of course, a nice shot of Super Mega Force Red with the Saber, and it says Deluxe Super Mega Saber. And on the back, it just shows you, you know, more um, how the Saber works. And you know the the LEDs we have, and of course uh, got more Ranger keys showing here. And so uh, here so is the Super Mega Force Blue Ranger key, and uh, it pretty much makes sense. I mean, you know, um, Super Mega Force Blue is a famous swordsman, so you know, I'm kind of glad they added this along with the uh, Super Mega Saber. Uh, but as you can see, nicely, nicely done here, and the blue here, the pirate symbol right here, and. Uh, his uh, chest area here looking all nice like uh, little ships and uh, all around nice here with the boots now on the back of the key here I don't know if you guys can see but right here we have some numbers here it says PR002 so I am reckoning that the Super Mega Force Red Ranger key is PR001 so uh, let's go ahead and change them into a key and so pretty much you flick it up and so, uh, anyway, uh, right here on the key, we got the pirate symbol here, and all nicely done here in a blue here. So, uh, let's get the legendary morpher out for a second, and hear the sounds that come off of this key. So, here we go. Super Mega Force Blue. Let's see what else we got. So Super Mega Jet being uh, Super Mega Force Blue's Zord, so which is all around cool. So uh, anyway, let me go ahead and change him back. And uh, real quickly, here is Gokai Blue's Ranger Key. And of course, as you can see, um, the blue on Super Mega Force Blue is a little bit darker than Gokai Blue's. So you know, pretty nice, huh? So um, anyway, and. Uh, um, pretty much, like I said, the, the blue is a little bit darker here, you know, and this is a little, little bit lighter. did the measurements on it, and uh, it is close to 16 inches long. So uh, it is pretty long of a, a weapon, if you remember how it looked on the box. But uh, anyway, um, well clearly let's rim this back with the Gokai Saber. The Gokai Saber had, with the blade area, a gray looking rubbery blade um, uh, feel to it. As to the Super Mega Saber has a see-through soft plastic side, and this is pretty much where your LEDs are going to be coming from. So pretty much the um, the lights are all going to be right here in the blade. As to the Gokai Saber, the lights would be here, right here where the symbol is. So um, anyway, um, so yeah, that's the one thing uh, they change as far uh, you know as far as Bandai America changing, you know. So uh, they uh, excluded the uh, um, the lights to be here, and they just add the lights to be here. Now, clearly the lights. Let's get to the lights. Um, I am a fan of you know toys that have lights and sounds and stuff on it. Uh, the uh, Super Mega Saber only has three LEDs, uh, pretty much red, blue, and green. And then um, the Gokai Saber had seven LEDs. You know, uh, mainly of all five rangers, and then you know a purple color and a white color. As to uh, the um, Super Mega Saber here, um, they excluded uh, pink and yellow. So mainly, this is a boys' toy, I guess I could say. Uh, not trying to be, uh, uh, I don't know. But anyway, so anyway, um, and uh, clearly, the if you are wondering about the on and off switch. With the Gokai Saber, the, the on and off switch would be right here. Well, here is the on and off switch right here. And then here is the battery compartment. So it, nothing has really much changed. Of course, with the Gokai Saber, 
there was another battery compartment like right here but uh, anyway and right here uh, I don't know if you can see uh, it's not painted but there is the pirate symbol once again so um, all around nice um, I am a fan of this uh, of this you know uh, a part of me wasn't really a fan of Bandai America's toys but this one is absolutely nice um, and real quickly, the uh, speaker to the sound comes from right here. So the sounds that come off of the Super Mega Saber. And so we're going to go ahead and turn it on. It makes that noise. So let's do it again. And so let's go ahead and eliminate this light. Because I want you guys to see the LEDs that come off of this awesome saber. So uh, anyway, pretty much the um, LEDs, you know, will have the red the green and the uh, blue right here so which is pretty amazing and so right now we're going to be hearing a whole bunch of famous clanging noise so here we go So talk about gorgeous, friends. I really do like the LEDs in this blade here. And uh, it's really, really nice. It's going to be even nice when you do the final attack. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open up the cylinder here. And uh, you, I'm sorry if you guys can't see, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the uh, Super Mega Force Blue uh, Ranger Key. And um, this is going to be really fun. Now, once you put this key in you'll have the red and green LEDs performing like the charging sound so uh, let's go ahead and put it in okay so meaning that it is ready so let's see what other LEDs we got here That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the one thing I find that's kind of lame is Troy saying uh, Super Mega Saber. I find that very, very lame. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and do it again. Okay. So... And pretty much when you take the key out, there is no LED lighting or anything. But, you know, once once again, I want to show you guys the LEDs with the clanging sound. So, so really, really, really quickly, I'm just going to do a quick comparison. But I will do a little bit more comparison here whenever I do my uh, Japanese versus America uh, comparison review. So please check out that. Um, as of this recording, it's not up yet. But uh, anyway, real quickly, the Gokai Saber. Uh, pretty much all your electronics are right here. Making the hilt here kind of bulky, you know. And of course, the blade here. Pretty much, you know rubbery you know and you know uh, done in uh, you know the gray here as to the mega the super mega saber here the hilt here has been downsized uh, pretty much they eliminate all the electronics here and all the electronics are right here in the blade you know so probably that's why it made the blade a little bit longer and uh, and you know of course with the whole thing with the Gokai Saber they added a, uh, a, a battery compartment as to right here so um, I think that's the one thing they kind of downsized on on things you know they got rid of one battery compartment you know they they moved the uh, on and off switch to right here as to the on and off switch being right there so um, my thoughts on this uh, on the Super Mega Saber I like it. I really love it. I love the LEDs in it. Um, like I said, the only one thing I don't like is uh, that is very lame is when Troy yells Super Mega Saber and that's when he's doing the final attack. That's the one thing I don't like, but I can, I'll take it, you know. 
Um, and of course, um, I do like the fact that we do get a Super Mega Force Blue Ranger key, which is pretty amazing, and uh, which really makes sense, like I said. And of course, uh, and uh, when I did the uh, Gokai Saber review, you would get a Gokai Yellow Ranger key. So, and that's the one thing I couldn't understand why Gokai Blue came with the Gokai Gun instead of the Gokai Saber. But anyway, but uh, yeah, I definitely do recommend this to any collector or to parents. If uh, if you are looking for a nice little toy for your uh, kids to be entertained with, get this and hope to God they don't hurt uh, any siblings or friends or cousins. So, uh, Anyway, uh, like I said, I do recommend it. It is a real fantastic toy. I am very impressed with this uh, on Super Mega Saber. Um, I mean, the sound effects are kind of cheesy, but hey, I, I mean, I, 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 I'm a sucker for LEDs. So uh, anyway, well, friends, that is it on this review. Please check out my blog, hg 421 blogblogspotcom for all your info on the channel, future reviews, future vlogs, you name it. Remember to like my Facebook and to follow me on Twitter, friends. And uh, this is a review on the Power Rangers Super Mega Force Deluxe Super Mega Saber. I hope you enjoy it. Well, my friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day. And I will see you next time. Bye.